Hello, good morning. Welcome my creative friends to Making Morning Sacred here on Painting in Your PJs with Manette. Super excited to be gathering live with all of you. And I'm super excited about this new series, Painting in Your PJs as well. Um, not painting in your PJs is not new, but making morning sacred and especially making money Monday morning sacred. I picked Mondays to do this because I find it such a great way for me personally to start my own week. I've been up for a while, had a couple of cups of coffee and chit chatted with my husband at the kitchen table. Did a little bit of reading. I'm reading this wonderful book on mind mapping right now and looking ahead to the week. Hey, Susan Mason, how lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. And uh, reading this wonderful book about mind mapping and I worked all weekend and I'm gonna more or less take today off. So, you know, the, the week ahead feels busy and full and so to make this Monday morning sacred I decided I needed to do a couple of different things so I always start the simplest way to make your mornings sacred is to light a candle to pause to take a few deep breaths whatever way that works or means for you and sometimes I like to just close my eyes and really feel my feet on the ground, my seat in the chair, and just feely, feel myself being fully present here in the moment, in the here and the now. And I'm so grateful for this time and this place extending that gratitude to those of you joining live and catching the replay and just feeling incredibly grateful for my life right now gratitude for the opportunities that are coming gratitude for this body that supports me as I move through my days and into this week And just taking 30 seconds to a minute to pause in this way and feel ourselves deeply connected to self, to others, to universe can really help us start our day and our week off on a much more solid footing, if you will. And this morning I decided I needed to do a little journaling. I looked for some in inspiration. I have this one of my favorite decks of oracle cards that my dear friend Leslie gifted me was the Sacred Forest Oracle. Oracle. It's such a lovely deck. And I simply asked, what is it that I need today? Good morning, everyone. Mary, Gail, Carol, great to see you here. And the message that I got from the cards was, I need patience, I need to slow down, and I need to connect to my intuition that this is not the moment to charge ahead into action, but to pause for a moment as the light is rising and clarity will come and to trust my own knowing. And I tend to, to be that person that loves to race ahead, to dive into things and to get going very quickly. And what I knew that I needed, so this card felt very perfect for me this morning. Good morning, Becky. As I start my day and my morning from this energy of being sacred. So I did a couple of things this morning. As I mentioned, I'm reading this wonderful book on mind mapping and uh, visual thinking and visual skills. Good morning, Bonnie. Blessings to you as well. So the first thing I did was to just start a mind map where I can dump all of the things that are in my head to get done this week and 
This is no, by no means complete, but I just came up with a few categories. So as I'm sitting here this morning with my creative practice, and this idea of patience and tangling and releasing some of that Monday morning, oh shit, there's a lot to do this week kind of energy and really coming into wanting to feel connected and sacred here. I decided to start that mind map and what I often do when I sit down to tangle or color one of these beautiful designs is I always have a journal or maybe some sticky notes nearby so that I have a place to clear my monkey mind as I go. And I did some journaling on the back of this card around this idea of patience. So my journaling was inspired by this lovely egret here this morning in the foggy bog of patience. And I'm tired because I did, I led a three day workshop over the last three days and it was wonderful and I can feel that little bit of I am in that foggy bog and so I need to just sort of trust that. And my son Connor for our Sacred Circles membership has created this wonderful collection of snowflake designs. I'm really loving these mini designs that he's creating. They're, they're great to color, they're great to tangle. And there are 12 of them available for sale in our classroom. And there's a link in the comments below. It's $5 to download these gorgeous, gorgeous design for hours of coloring and tangling play. And most of the time we have affirmations on them, but this time he felt like he wanted to leave them really open-ended. So I followed guidance from that Oracle card and wrote my own affirmation. I am practicing patience today and slowing down. I am practicing patience today and slowing down. So that was the energy that I needed. So as you start the week, I'm curious, what are you thinking about? What is it that you need? How do you want to feel going into the work? One of the fun things that I really loved about this uh, book on mind mapping was there was some daily ideas for doing daily maps and in the center of the map was and if you don't know what mind mapping is I have a I think I have a few videos around on it on my channel and uh, was starting in the center with how you want to feel and so what I'm thinking in the center here is I'm going to actually put my little cartoon character of myself that I've been having so much fun drawing lately. And I'm going to plant right here in the center. How is it that I want to feel this week? My little glasses in there. And I love combining all of the practices that are meaningful to me personally. And maybe she's holding a little bouquet of flowers here this morning. But I want to go into this week feeling calm, clear, if I can spell this morning, clear. Open. So this is how I want to start my week. This is how I want to travel through my week feeling this week. And I can see that if you guys bear with me for just a minute, I'm going to see if I can get this video a little more clear. And so I'm going to go away for just a second and uh, see if we can get that. Yeah, that zooming in and out with this camera is a little bit tricky. And then I'm going to take some time here for the next 15 minutes or so to add some of my favorite Zentangle patterns to the edges of this beautiful snowflake design. 
And then tomorrow morning, in another one of these morning sessions that I love to call my mapping process, my morning art activation process, in another one of these sessions, I'll add some color or maybe some shading, but I never feel in these morning art sessions and writing the pressure to complete, right? There's only giving myself permission to be here and to be connected in this moment with myself. And I'm really kind of loving these triangles. So I think I'm going to do some inner auras. So if you're not familiar with the Zentangle method, the Zentangle method is a mindful form of drawing repetitive patterns. And the process almost always starts with what we call a string, which is the outline that you use to draw your designs. And in the case of our sacred circle designs, I'm using my son Connor's gorgeous designs as my string. And I'm just going to do some little fragments here on these little triangles. Nothing too fancy. These are small spaces to draw into. I'm just going to be very mindful and take my time. And whether you're watching or coloring along, I express gratitude for you being here with me this morning. And I'm curious, how would you like your week to go? If you think about how would you like to feel this week? What would support you the most? What would support you the most? And Bonnie, I am so excited to get to spend more time with you in the Creative Renaissance program. You watch for an email later today with some fun information. Super excited. You want to feel rejuvenated and energized, focused on projects. Beautiful. And as I'm thinking about it, I think I also want to feel um, connected and grounded, right? When we go into overwhelm, what happens is that we get into spinny mode and we're stuck in our heads and we get almost disembodied, right? And disconnected from that belief that clarity is even possible. Yay, Bonnie. And the more that we spend time connecting to our emotions and to our feelings, the easier it is to move through those emotions and feelings. and the better we feel on a daily basis. But it requires just spending this few minutes, even just once a week, a couple of times a week. It doesn't have to be daily. Connecting to the page helps us connect to our feelings to work through them. This design has some funky wonky little spaces in it. Let's see, so maybe some stripes on this one. And as you make your way through this morning process of your own, whether that is 
art and writing like me, or prayer, or meditation, you might consider asking yourself, what support do you need? What support do you need? Do you need to ask your spouse for support? A friend, a mentor? When I was sitting at the table chatting with Brad this morning, the support that I needed was from myself to give myself permission to take the time to just sit down and map out what I need to get done this week rather than just charging ahead and diving in and feeling like I'm behind the eight ball before I even start, which is ridiculous because I'm not. I truly believe that I have all the time that I need. And that everything is happening in divine timing. And when I sit and look at my mind map or I really love doing brain dumps, I teach all of my business clients, but I think it works well personally to at least once a week to do a brain dump, just get a big sheet of paper and dump everything in your head that you think you need to do, that you want to do that you believe you should do, that you must do, the urgent, the important. As creatives, we're such visual people, and the more that we can get all of the things floating around in our head out and onto a piece of paper, we can see them, we can prioritize them, we can delegate, we know what to ask for help with, My son is coming over this afternoon to spend the afternoon in my studio helping me organize some of my chaos. We do this a couple of times a year. I've gotten some new tools and supplies in lately. And paper and bookmaking stuff. And it's feeling a little bit chaotic down here at the moment. And when it gets to be chaotic, I don't function very well. Visual clutter, overflowing bookshelves, impacts my creativity and requires me again to pause, to have the patience to slow down So my studio is a little bit of that foggy bog at the moment, especially after a weekend of teaching. It always feels a little extra chaos. It's interesting because I'm talking about feeling calm, clear, and open. And look how busy these patterns are, right? There's a lot of movement here. And so I'm just noticing the, the, the contrast and I'm loving the, the patterns, right, um, that I've chosen and I'm noticing what they look like. Organizing Studio is one of your projects this week. Yep. And I have some decisions to make here with the design. If I want to create some clear and open space in my week, can I represent that by leaving the center of the snowflakes open? Yeah, especially doing uh, collage work is, um, it's a messy endeavor, right? Like I always end up with a lot of creative chaos in the studio after time spent in intuitive collage work.
and I think it feels good to leave these spaces open and to do something really simple in the edges. But I'm going to use just a little bit of line weight inside of these to give that kind of illusion of depth a little bit. And I'm definitely feeling like I'm going to want to add some maybe splashy watercolor to this. The other thing I journaled about are um, was some, um, hi mommy, good morning. The other thing I journaled about this morning was about what are the colors that would support me? I love working with the connection between colors and how colors can help us to express emotion. We have a wonderful class I created called Color Coded Emotions that really helps you understand and map out that connection for yourself. I like the bold outline of those. It feels like I'm really honoring that open space 